rain. Yesterday had been like close to a month without it, but not that much. Yeah, we could have certainly used more. Yeah. The further west you live, the more rain you got. And okay. if you live in western Iowa, you were stuck with probably less than a tenth of an inch. Hey, but we'll take it though. We, like Melissa just said, have been 28 days without measurable rainfall. I mean, if you lived in Lincoln or York, you picked up on a decent soaking, half an inch of rain. That, now that's some good moisture there. But further south, Beatrice, uh, just above two tenths of an inch. Omaha here at Epley Airfield uh, got about a tenth and a half of an inch. And then uh, about a quarter of an inch in Fremont, Columbus, above three tenths of an inch. So we did get a good soaking here and there, but most of us were without it. The good band of rain, this is on a 12 hour loop here, was right here just east of York, Lincoln down towards Beatrice. Uh, that moved up to the north and east. That was around midnight, 1, 2 a.m. before that pushed off to the north and the east. And now we just have some clearing skies behind this system, which is good news for us. We get the rain overnight. We get some nice sunshine for the day. But again, you will deal with some damp roadways as you head out the door for this uh, this morning commute. 56 degrees right now. The dew point sitting in the lower 50s. A little bit of a southeast breeze, but not noticeable at all. 55 for Beatrice, York and Norfolk, both sitting at 50 degrees. They're reporting fog. If you live in western Iowa, a few more clouds as temperatures sit in the upper 50s there. Here's your 12 hour forecast and it's a good 12 hour forecast. Clouds clear out by the lunch hour. We're around 70 and then by the afternoon high temperature time. I mean, three, four o'clock, we're going to be in the upper 70s and that's what we have for the high temperature here. 78 degrees Lincoln, maybe 81. Beatrice 80, Fall City 81, so maybe some 80s on there as well if you live further south. But the forecast for tomorrow, not quite as warm. So if you want more pumpkin patch weather, you want more fall feel, we're going to have it tomorrow as we only get up into the mid 60s, about 66 degrees for a high temperature here in Omaha. All right, let's walk through this here on Storm Predictor. So the reason we cool down tomorrow <laughs> is that cold front pushing in. We have a north wind later today. That extends into the overnight hours and into your Wednesday morning, but throughout the day on Wednesday with high pressure taking over the sky stay clear. We still have that cooler air in here and then here's as we get into Thursday, more of a south wind. We see this system off to our west start to push eastward and this brings us a very small chance of rain near that cold front uh, late on Thursday, uh, but the odds aren't great right now, but it's the best thing we have here in the forecast that we're going to be watching for. But the temperatures will actually dip down behind that cold front from Thursday and into Friday. So it's kind of a back and forth, a little bit of a roller coaster ride. You go from feeling like summer today to fall Wednesday, summer again on Thursday and then fall again on Friday and Saturday. So if you want to go to the pumpkin patch, you're trying to pick a weekend for it. Not a bad weekend here. I mean, Friday, Saturday, sitting in the 60s. Look at that low temperature waking up for your Saturday morning in the 30s. We haven't had that since our fall freeze last week around this time.